uh, welcome to this particular class and uh, this class is focused uh, on uh, designing a mass calendar. Now, what we have learned in the previous class is what is photolithography right and we have seen uh, I think MJB4 operation of MJB4 mass calendar uh, uh, using the uh, video that we had uh, and I am sure that you, you now know uh, how the photolithography works. Uh, what are the positive photoregist, what are negative photoregist, um, uh, uh, what are bright field mask, what are dark field mask, uh, how to align the wafer right. Uh, now, uh, to align the wafer mask aligner right and to expose the wafer UV source right. So, the cost of this system right now is close to like 50 lakh and we have MEMS based sensors or design or technology related course in lot of universities, is not it? Uh, we learn it right, we, we learn it uh, uh, through books, but not all of us are having a setup within our university uh, that we can go and see uh, whatever we study in the book how it looks like right and to bridge that gap we need to develop a technology. So, that every university can adopt a system which is at lower cost. So, here uh, in this particular lecture I will be telling you something uh, related to what I am doing uh, uh, in, in my laboratory and this is also a part of this lecture because uh, mask aligner or photolithography is an integral part of any MEMS based sensor. Now, what we are doing right, we want to reduce the cost of the mask aligner traditional mask aligner to a value that most of the universities, most of the colleges can afford right. If we see that ok, photolithography processes you take the wafer, how wafer looks like you can buy a wafer it is like 700 rupees uh, uh, yeah, close to 2000 rupees. Now, once you have the wafer right, what you will do that do with that. If you do not want to buy wafer you can buy a glass glass slide that is also is fine right. What is a photolithography step? Photolithography steps are first you clean the substrate, second coat the primer. So, you need a small spin coater, there are varieties of spin coater available in market at lower price you can get one spin coat photoregist, first we can spin coat primer or we can spin coat photoregist. After spin coating photoregist we have to pre bake, you can buy a hot plate there should be hot plate in any chemistry lab in biology labs. You put the wafer, so again again you, you have to perform all this thing in a yellow room, small room which is required to avoid the UV light. So, that the photoregist will not get exposed to UV. Uh, uh, before we actually align the uh, uh, align the substrate coated with photoregist. So, wh what we require we after we spin coat photoregist then you have to use a mask and load the mask on the mask aligner and expose it then you have to have developer small wet agent and then etching the uh, uh, if you have a metal you have to etch the metal right now you know the steps. So, how about we developed our own mass calendar and at a, at a very reduced cost and that can perform a photolithography step to get you a design at least a simple design like a heater. Then you can connect that with the theory and probably uh, understand how the photolithography system works. So, that is the uh, idea behind developing a mass calendar uh, within my laboratory. Now, when I will be teaching you this mass calendar steps, you will also know and learn that you can also do the same thing in your university. Try, take it as a project and try it right. We should start 
finding an alternative solutions if we cannot uh, uh, afford a particular technology right develop your own technology right we have to start developing things here in our country it's a high time we use the knowledge that we have and put it together to to develop technologies uh, that are cheaper uh, that are affordable that that can go to the uh, market that can go to the universities and all of us can get uh, a better exposure to the uh, education uh, that we really deserve right having said that i am not uh, telling that we are not getting enough exposure right all of us all teachers and uh, the management are trying best uh, i'm sure we are trying best to our abilities to help you out to understand the technology as much as we uh, can help you but the lacking the gap that lies is to show you the technology if i talk about mobile 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 is this mobile can do this mobile can send sms mobile can uh, you know, we can we can access lot of social network on mobile we can talk on mobile and right? we can see videos on mobile but i don't show you the mobile then but what if i just show you a simple mobile okay this is a mobile this is how it operates this is a button right this is how you can use it it's easier no that is the idea that show whatever we are we are talking in theory in actual scenario so with that particular focus with that particular idea uh, this today's lecture is uh, framed so the name of the uh, uh, slide is mask eyeliner so if you see the slide if you see the screen uh, we will be talking about mask eyeliner today hmm? and mask eyeliner is used for photolithography so you have to see a slide and the photolithography photo resist is spin coated on clean wafer we know it the coated wafer is soft baked at 90 degree we know it soft baked wafer is aligned to the mask and is exposed to the light source uv light right to print the desired pattern on the wafer the wafer is aligned to the mask in a mask aligner and exposed after that right so what is alignment so let me just quickly tell you okay let us say you have a we need a pattern which is like this in the final wafer this is what we need okay this is our final wafer huh? so we have done photolithography with a mask our first mask has let's say this pattern hmm? and with the help of this first mask we have used photolithography to uh, design uh, to get this pattern on the uh, on the wafer right now this mark Ma mask should have some alignment mark what is the role of this alignment mark so you, you understand right we have first mask with this pattern and there are alignment marks right this is mask 1 so our second mask mask 2 would have this pattern this is our mask 2 right now i had to align this wafer this wafer i had to align when i have to again perform photolithography with mask 2 such that i can have this kind of design next to my arrow so when i am going to align this mask my wafer with mask 2 right with mask 2 I have to load the wafer sorry I have to load the wafer and the wafer 
is already having this pattern right. Now, this alignment mark here and alignment mark here should align properly. So, if I have my alignment mark on my wafer looks like this and my alignment mark on my mask looks like this, this should align it. So, that if I see it, it looks like The, the the mark of the mask is exactly in the mark of the wafer. With this alignment mark, we can align the pattern in the mask. If the alignment is not proper, then this, this can overlap right. If the alignment is not proper, the wafer design, the design of the wafer can overlap this and we will not get what we desire, we will not get what we want. right. So, it is very important how to align this thing for that we require a mask aligner. So, this is just two mask process right mask 1 we form the pattern mask 2 we form another pattern right mask 2 was if I remove this mask 2 was another pattern we using mask 1 and mask 2 we want to have this pattern. So, the alignment mark role is very important another point you have to remember is always the alignment of the second mask is smaller than the first mask. If my mask 1 has a alignment mark right my mask 2 should be the alignment mark of my, of my mask 2 should be smaller than my alignment mark of my mask 1 that is very important to remember all right it is very important. So, remember these things same way alignment mark for my mask 3 should be smaller than alignment mark of my mask 2. Alignment mark of my mask 4 should be smaller than alignment mark of my mask 3 ok. This is how we can perfectly align the wafer and mask. Now, the wafer is aligned to the mask in a mask aligner and exposed. The exposed sample is developed and hard baked right and finally, we perform the etching. So, uh, this is the photolithography we know it how the mask aligner looks like right. So, we see this is a mask aligner uh, we have it uh, in uh, center for nano science and engineering at IISC and uh, this is EVG 620. Uh, so, this is a mask aligner you can see here in the in the display you can see how the uh, uh, wafer looks like what the pattern on the wafer looks like this is the exposure unit right this is the exposure unit this is where your UV lamp is kept UV lamp is kept right we require UV light to follow this is a joystick uh, to uh, move x y uh, uh, the, the, the uh, wafer in x and y there is a theta direction for moving the wafer in theta. So, x y theta right and of course, this is a uh, 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 mask aligner uh, which is close to as far as I understand about 80 90 lakh some mask aligners are even like 1.5 crores some are 2 crores right depending on the mask aligner. So, the point is mask aligner is used to align the wafer to the mask and expose the coated wafer right coated with what photoresist 3 degrees of freedom we get always x y and theta right we want to we want to uh, align the mask. So, you have to move the mask either in x y or theta or you move your wafer in x y or theta. So, you have two options either you move the mask or you move the wafer. I would prefer to move the wafer. Hmm? You hold the mask move the wafer either in x direction, y direction or in a theta direction angle. Now, next one is if you see the screen the alignment marks on the wafer is aligned to the mask marks on the pri mask prior to the wafer right. What is that? the alignment marks on wafer is aligned to the marks on mask prior to the wafer. So, uh, that is what we have taken an example that the alignment mark of mask 2 should be smaller than alignment mark of mask 1. In semi automated system alignment is done manually, but in advanced automated system automatic pattern recognition uh, is used to alignment 
uh, used in alignment system. Normally, alignment process requires at least two sets of alignment marks opposite sides of the wafer. What does that mean? If I have the alignment mark, right, whatever the pattern here is, I require at least two alignment mark on the wafer. Now, this does not mean that every time I had to draw a plus, I do not whatever the pattern is, does not matter here. My alignment mark can be a plus, can be a triangle, can be a circle, can be any design, right. I just want to make sure that the mask 2 when I make the, the if I use a circle here, I am using a circle here, right. This circle when I align it with this one, this should be within it. This is mask 1, mask 2. So, alignment mark alignment mark of mask 2 should be less than alignment mark of mask 1, should be smaller than alignment mark of mark of mask 1. That is very important to remember. Okay. So, normally alignment process at least requires two sets of alignment marks on opposite sides of the wafer. Split fill microscope is used to make alignment easier. So, if we use split fill microscope at if you have the wafer or if you have the mask at the same time you can see both the areas, both the alignment mark at the same time you can use or see if we use split fill microscope. Hmm? So, that is another point that you need to remember when you are using a mask aligner. These are few commercially available mask aligner. There is a uh, you can go to this YouTube link and look at this uh, how it is uh, uh, operated, right? Uh, and then it will be easier for you to understand what's the role of mask aligner and how we can design a mask aligner. See, in this case, uh, uh, these are the uh, lenses for the microscope, right? Split field microscope. Uh, this is the UV exposure unit, right? And this is the x, y, and theta stage, right? X, y, and theta stage. Uh, uh, this is for the uh, pressure for holding the wafer and exposure time. Uh, what is the power that you are applying? This this electronics is right over here. This is to move manually x, y, z. Uh, then in this particular case, uh, again here what you see is you can see a mask holder, right? And you can see a wafer. So there is a mask holder. There is a wafer is a split field microscope again here. So, just go through it and see it again you can see very clearly it is in yellow room, it is in yellow room, this is in yellow room you see everything whenever you use it is always should be operated in a yellow room. There is a display always connected with it, so that we can see the alignment, the alignment mark we have to see we have to adjust it accordingly right, we have to see the pattern you can see the pattern also. Uh, so, these are commercially available my mask aligner. Now, yeah, this is a, a YouTube video. So, uh, we will we'll play uh, each video uh, when the time permits. So, just go through uh, each of the video and you will understand how it is uh, operated, right. Uh, so, we have three videos here for you to uh, observe uh, and, and let, let us play one by one all three videos.
This is not a matched mask and wafer, but we should at least be able to see the alignment process. satisfied with the alignment, so we'll expose. Now I'll unload the wafer and run the same wafer in topside alignment mode. Five second exposure and unload. Today is April fourteenth, two thousand thirteen, and we are looking at Class One Equipment's MJB four. ID number 3685, three, serial number 191. This machine is through the refurbishment process, and ready to be locked down for shipping. But first we'll just demonstrate the operation by running a four inch wafer in hard contact.
to expose. Confirm. And it performs for five seconds. Exposure. Okay. Now, since we know uh, what a mass calendar looks like, what, uh, what are the designs, right? There is a split field microscopy, there is a UV exposure system, and uh, there is a, a mask uh, holder, and there is a wafer holder, and we require x y theta uh, stage for moving it. So, we can design the mask aligner accordingly, right? So, this is our design, this is our design, and this is what we are working on to make a mask aligner which is cheaper and that can go and we can use it in most of our uh, laboratories or most of our universities because this would be uh, affordable mask aligner. Now, to make it affordable first we are in the, in the stage of designing it and we are stage of fabricating it. So, I will show you few of the assembly that we have designed and then uh, 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 a video where, where how it is it is working. Uh, so, uh, for the mask aligners, the major parts of the design mask aligners are x, y, theta stage with a wafer holder. We have a mask holder, we have a camera assembly and we have exposure system which is UV exposure system, right. So, for x, y, theta for, uh, for moving the wafer uh, and it is it is attached with a wafer holder so that we can move the wafer in x y and theta uh, theta. We have a mask holder to hold the mask. Cam camera assembly to look at the alignment marks. UV exposure system to expose the wafer. So if I want to design this x y theta stage, right? This is a, a 3D uh, model, right? Uh, using SolidWorks you can design using uh, ProE you can design. And this is actual model, this is actually fabricated uh, uh, x y uh, theta stage, uh, there is a z stage as well with a wafer holding module. Hmm. Uh, so, we have now designed this x y theta stage. So, the, you, you guys have to understand that uh, using uh, knowledge of 3D printing, 3D knowledge of workshop, right? We all go to a, uh, we have a course of uh, uh, attending a engineering workshop, right? Which we understand the design, we understand the how the workshop technologies can be used. So, you can use a basic workshop technologies and you can fabricate this kind of uh, setup. Uh, little bit of understanding about electronic modules and motors and drivers is required to further operate the system. Okay. So, we have this uh, wafer holding system, here you can hold the wafer and you have to connect it to a vacuum system, so that you can uh, hold the wafer correctly and when it is uh, it will it will not move. Then we have also designed a camera assembly, what we require? Camera, right? Camera to do what? Camera to understand the design uh, to, to look at the pattern on the wafer and to align it. So, camera assembly consists of a movable sub assembly system, this can be moved, right? Uh, and a camera rest on a holder. 
the holder can move in x direction. So, that camera with lens can focus at different points and it will move in this direction or it can move in this direction or uh, two holders separately. Uh, this moment is constrained allowing only to use mask with a dimension 2 of 3 inch to 5 inch. So, we cannot use a uh, mask which are bigger than 5 inch and or smaller than 3 inch. The moment of this sub assembly in z direction allows user to focus the alignment mask properly right. So, if you see the camera lens holder right this is how the lens holder looks like in an actual system you can see here this is a fabricated camera lens holder. Hmm, fabricated module and this is a design module. So, from design to fabrication you can do it in your uh, laboratory in your uh, college there can be a project mini projects right. Then we have a mask holder. So, mask holder again you have to hold the mask. So, you have to create these holes for uh, vacuum so that the mask can be holded perfectly. This is a design mask holder of 5 inch right uh, uh, left side is design and right side is the fabricated version. The mask holder slide inside the mask support. So, to support this mask holder we have to insert in the mask holder slide. The mask holder consists of two basic parts as you can see mask holder and mask support right. Now, this is what we are showing is similar uh, kind of uh, technology uh, is used in uh, actually available mask aligner right. Uh, of course, with a little bit uh, uh, advanced version, but, but the idea is same idea is same. So, it is very important if you see this you will understand what they have used in their particular system. So, the mask holder consists of mass uh, basic parts one is mask holder, second is mask support, mask support is designed in such a way that it can house a mask with maximum dimension of 5 inch. Second is mask plates of various types can be used by using mask holders of different dimensions. Third one is the mask support can slide inside the mask holder and mask can be held within the mask holder by vacuum right. So, this is about the mask holder. Now, if we go further there is a wafer holder. Once we have a mask holder we also require a wafer holder. Now, how does exactly wafer holder works? Wafer holder is designed to house the wafer on it right. So, here you see here again we have to create a vacuum so that the wafer can be holded this is a wafer holder of 5 inch uh, designed and fabricated actually the wafer holder uh, we have wafer for 4 inch right uh, when the mask is of 5 inch. So, it is designed to hold wafers with minimum dimension of 2 inch and 4 inch uh, the, the holder can be 5 inch, but the mask that we can load a maximum is 4 inch ok. So, it can uh, hold 2 inch and 4 inch wafer the wafer which we attach to the wafer holder by vacuum continuous suction will be provided by a vacuum pump. So, you have to connect a vacuum pump here right wafer holder with vacuum connector you can see here and this needs to be uh, connected to a vacuum pump. So, to get enough vacuum to hold the wafer the uh, it should not be uh, such that the wafer will get crack or break ok. Uh, there is another thing that is very important that we when we design the wafer holder. Now, when you talk about the mask alignment system what you see you have to have a simultaneous image acquisition from two cameras right simultaneous acquisition uh, of images from two cameras then we should have a live video display and we should have a capability of uh, capturing image of the alignment mark. Then we should have a joystick to control the motion of mechanical stage and we should have the align uh, we, we have to align the alignment marks of wafer and mask right. These are the requirement uh, requirements for the mask alignment system right more or less of a mask alignment system. So, if we can address all these three uh, requirements we can design the mask alignment system. So, how we can design this mask alignment system and how we can interface uh, this to an actual display uh, and then uh, what kind of uh, UV source we can design. Uh, so, that we will talk in the next module uh, for this module you understand that uh, the mask alignment system or uh, the mask aligner is, is a very important part of a photolithography system and we are learning how to uh, quickly design a mask aligner uh, or I am showing it to you how the mask calendar can be designed right. Uh, uh, so, in the next module we will see the next portion of the mask calendar uh, and see how it can be used in actual scenario. Till then you take care look at the module I will see you in the next class bye.